Hello dear friends, this is Devashish and I welcome you all to my channel Statistics Curiosity. Friends, today we will discuss about empirical distribution function. Empirical distribution function, this is the basically uh, one of the foundational topics of basic topics of uh, non-parametric statistics. Uh, if you want to study non-parametric statistics such as a, a test, a important test, Kolmogorov Smirnov test, KS test uses the empirical distribution functions in its test statistic. To understand those to all those topics, we have to understand the empirical distribution function. It is also important from the point of view of upcoming gate, uh, gate statistics examination. So let's start understanding this topic. Empirical distribution function basically denoted by snx or fnx to understand empirical distribution function first assume we have a random sample x1 x2 up to xn it is a random sample from any distribution from any distribution with cdf capital fx now what is cdf cdf is cumulative distribution function see what happens cdf is actually a distribution function for the population data in layman's words and empirical distribution function is the distribution function for sample data or observed data so if you want to know what is a capital fx then i can say that f capital fx is nothing but the probability of x less than equal to small x up to certain point probability of random variable up to certain point up to certain point this is capital fx now the empirical distribution function if we have a random sample and if we arrange this random sample in order statistics order statistics means if we arrange this observation in ascending order then let x1 x2 up to xn is the corresponding is the corresponding order statistics then uh, the empirical distribution function the empirical distribution function also known as sample distribution function the empirical distribution function snx or fnx is denoted by is basically i must say is given by fmx is equals to its value will be 0 if x is less than smallest order statistics or the smallest observation in the sample and its value will be j divided by n if x j is less than equal to x and is less than equal to x j plus 1 okay and its value will be 1 if obviously j is here 1 2 up to n minus 1 okay up to n minus 1 if 1 if x is greater than equal to xm let's say for example if we have following observations mm, 4 8 3 2 18 okay then x1 your x1 will be 2 your x2 will be 3 your x3 will be 4 your x4 will be 8 and your x5 will be 18 if we arrange these order, uh, observations in order statistics then what will be the empirical distribution function 
the empirical distribution function for value 4 will be what? There are 5 number of observations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see j divided by n. So, for value 4, the empirical distribution function will be what? That will be 1 by 5. And for value, sorry, for value not for 4, for value 2. Okay. Then for value 3, it will be what? It will be 2 by 5. Then for value 4, it will be 3 by 5. Then for value say 8, it will be 4 by 5. And then at last for value 18, it will be 5 by 5. Okay. So, it is also uh, as it is also a probability kind of function. So, its value lies between 0 and 1. Okay, its values lies between 0 and 1. So, in this way, we can define the empirical distribution function. Understand its importance. Empirical distribution function gives you the distribution function of observed data or the sample data. While the CDF, capital FX, gives you the distribution function of population of population so if you want to compare what ks test is uh, i i will definitely make a video on ks test and give the link in its uh, in the description of this video but in the ks test we basically compare a given sample uh, we basically try to find out whether that given sample is obtained from a particular distribution and the particular distribution will follow a certain distribution so you do not have uh, you do not uh, have 100% knowledge about whether the given sample comes from a particular distribution but if you want to uh, if you want to test whether this given sample is obtained from a particular distribution so you have that particular distribution CDF say capital FX and you can find that CDF of this given sample say F and X and you can compare both of these and that test is KS test so uh, I basically try to uh, give you an idea about what is the importance of this empirical distribution function in finding in testing in non parametric test non parametric statistics so let's see some of the properties of empirical distribution function from the point of view of examination or the uh, multiple choice questions so here i have some of the mcq some of the uh, one liners some properties regarding uh, empirical distribution function so first property is edf empirical distribution function is a step function so what uh, do you mean by uh, 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 um, step function so what step function is if we take ordered data here okay and the distribution function here and try to uh, make an sketch of fmx or fnx then that is sketch would be like this it will the values will take certain jumps such function is known as step function and the height of these jumps will be inversely proportional to the sample size the height of these jumps will be inversely proportional to the sample size okay so the first property of edf is that it is a step function or jump function second property is if we take limit x tends to minus infinity of this fmx here i have considered the sample size m okay here this m is sample size it can be n also so edf is a step function limits x tends to minus infinity fmx is equals to 0 and x tends to plus infinity fmx is equals to 1 we have already seen this in the definition of f and x or in the notational things next op uh, next property is it is non decreasing and continuous at right 
both these properties can be seen by the definition and from the above these properties and uh, fourth property is this the fmx lies between 0 and 1 the empirical cdf lies between 0 and 1 we have already seen that next property is if we consider a random variable z with value x1 x2 these are order statistics order statistics uh, is uh, written in this bracket x1 x2 up to xm each with probability 1 by m then cdf of z will be fmx so it is nothing but another way of writing the definition of empirical cdf that is the probability of z equal to xi xi means i is equals to 1 to m for each observed value arranged in ascending order the probability will be 1 by m each with probability 1 by m then the cdf of this z will be the empirical cdf so this is nothing but uh, another way of writing the actual definition of empirical cdf next these two properties are the most important properties of empirical cdf empirical T cdf is also known as sample cdf sample df empirical df empirical distribution function or sample distribution function we can use this empirical distribution function to estimate population distribution to estimate cdf actual cdf we can use edf edf to estimate what to estimate cdf we can use fnx to estimate actual fx okay so these two properties are helpful the sample df is an unwise estimate of cdf capital fx remember the empirical distribution function is unwised for cdf cumulative distribution function not only unwise it is also consistent it is also consistent for capital fx it converges in probability to capital fx next property is the empirical cdf converges almost surely to cdf the empirical distribution function converges almost surely to cumulative distribution function this property is uh, stronger than this property converges in probability because it is uh, basically making you certain that uh, the empirical cdf will tends to actual cdf empirical distribution tends to actual distribution almost surely next lemma next property is also known as glevenko cantelli lemma it states that if we take limit m tends to infinity then the probability of supremum of mode of fmx minus fx fx greater than epsilon is equals to zero this lemma this lemma here is used to make the test statistic to construct the test statistic in ks test next property is this property is interesting next property states if x i's are any distribution if x i's x1 x2 up to xn follow any distribution with pdf fx up uh, I have written fx that pdf fx that means if xi is follow any continuous distribution with pdf fx and cdf capital fx then if we take capital fx as random variable if we find different capital fx capital fx at different points for different samples for different uh, data sets obtained from the main population if we have then uh, uh, if we consider capital fx as the random variable then the distribution of capital fx will be uniform 0 1 and this is a very important property you all must have to remember this that if xi follow any continuous distribution with pdf small fx and cdf capital fx then the cumulative distribution function capital fx follow uniform 0 1 and all these capital fx's will be independent but the empirical distribution function that is fmx or snx 
do not follow uniform 0 1 this is for continuous this, this follow discrete uniform and are not independent and are not independent so he, these are the properties related to uh, the empirical distribution functions these properties i have collected uh, to keep uh, uh, the competitive exams in mind if you like the content in the video please like the video and share the channel with your friends and uh, don't forget pressing the bell icon thank you for watching